doing a radiator in this GMC, first thing I'm gonna do is take off the cooling fan. Actually, the very first thing I did was just pop this Christmas tree out of this hole with my panel clip tool. I went ahead and disconnected these wire connectors. You just simply pull on them right here on that trigger, pull straight back, both sides. Then we have a 10 millimeter over here on this transmission cooler line. I'm gonna pull it all the way out. Just to give me a little more room, I popped this engine cover off and then I took these two eight millimeter worm clamps off. And then you got this little fitting right here. And then this just pops off some dowels. So that's easy enough to give you more access and more room to work on stuff. I'm gonna come down here and get this other 10 millimeter bolt on this lower line, transmission cooler line. Get it with a ratchet wrench, or I think in this case, it's gonna be easier to get with an actual socket. Now we get these top bolts, 13 millimeter. Now this fan is just gonna pop right out. You simply lift it up and scoot it right out. Just make sure your hoses are all out of the way. I'm not even gonna disconnect my coolant lines yet. You can just slide these clamps right back. Same thing with the radiator clamps. Put a drain pan under there before I get it all the way loose. And of course the right tool to get these spring clamps off is the Knipex hose clamp pliers. a coolant bleeder hose and then the bottom radiator hose the hardest part of this job is getting these transmission cooler lines off because there's some clips on there if you lose them you're probably gonna have to get them from the dealership so first you slide this little sleeve off then you're gonna have to get a pick under there and carefully put your hand under so it doesn't fly off. 3M strip caulk, and I'm gonna put some of this on the underside of it so it doesn't wanna have a tendency to fling out. It's gonna support it like that. Then I'm gonna take my pick. I'm gonna carefully pick it out of place. You see, I just took the end of the pick and I pulled it out right there and with that strip caulk in there it just holds it steady so it doesn't have the inertia to fly off it also helps you when you store them right in the battery tray right there you're gonna want to depress this little trigger in here it's right there before you pull this grommet out And then it just slides right off without pulling that plastic retainer out. On the top ones, you're going to push this metal washer out or spacer out, and then you can pull the rubber out. And you put it back in reverse order. Looks like the radiator came with new clips anyway, but if you were to replace or remove these lines for any other reason, they might not have the clips. You can't go losing them.